Have you ever pondered over the possibility of humans controlling machines with their minds? It might sound like a sci-fi fantasy, but the technology known as brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, is turning this into a reality. These interfaces collect and analyze brain signals, allowing direct control of external devices like robotic arms, keyboards, or smartphones. Imagine the power to move objects or type out an email just by thinking about it. But with this power also comes a host of ethical dilemmas as we grapple with the implications of merging man with machine. In this rapidly evolving field, we're seeing a fascinating race between East and West. On one hand, we have the United States where startups like Elon Musk's Neuralink are working tirelessly to commercialize the technology. On the other hand, we have China, a nation fast catching up with its focus on both invasive and non-invasive BCIs. As we delve deeper into the realm of BCIs, we find ourselves in the midst of a technological revolution with China at the forefront. China is making strides in the development of brain-computer interface technology, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. The recent unveiling of a homegrown brain-computer interface, or BCI, by a Chinese company at a tech forum in Beijing is a testament to this progress. This interface, developed in collaboration with the Chinese Institute for Brain Research, demonstrated a monkey's ability to control a robotic arm merely with its thoughts. In the demonstration, the monkey, with its hands restrained, used the interface to move a robotic arm and grasp a strawberry. The system involves soft electrode filaments implanted in the monkey's brain, a technology that not only highlights China's advancements, but also its ability to innovate in this field. For context, brain-computer interfaces collect and analyze brain signals to allow direct control of an external device. In this instance, the monkey's brain signals were used to control a robotic arm. While researchers in the United States have tested similar systems in paralyzed people to allow them to control robotic arms, this demonstration underscores China's progress in developing its own brain-computer interface technology. This is not an isolated achievement. China is quickly catching up with the U.S. in terms of its BCI technology. While traditionally focusing on non-invasive technology worn on the head, China is now making significant advancements in implantable interfaces, which are being explored for medical applications. This demonstration not only signifies China's progress, but also its intent to vie with the West in this emerging field of technology. The race is on, and it's clear that China is not just a participant but a formidable contender in the brain-computer interface technology arena. China's vision for the use of BCIs is distinct and ambitious, focusing on cognitive enhancement. The Asian superpower is rapidly advancing in both invasive and non-invasive brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs. Invasive BCIs are those that are implanted in the brain or on its surface often used for medical applications. On the other hand, non-invasive BCIs are wearable technologies placed on the head. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of China's BCI vision is the Communist Party's 2024 ethical guidelines, which boldly emphasize cognitive enhancement of healthy people as a primary goal of Chinese BCI research. The guidelines state, Non-medical purposes such as attention modulation, sleep regulation, memory regulation and exoskeletons for augmentative BCI technologies should be explored and developed to a certain extent, provided there is strict regulation and clear benefit. This commitment to cognitive enhancement could unlock new levels of human potential, transforming how we learn, work and interact with the world around us. However, it's important to note that the guidelines also stress the importance of maintaining human autonomy and self-awareness, cautioning against the replacement or weakening of human decision-making capabilities. A key part of China's BCI strategy is the development and application of wearable BCIs, also known as electroencephalography or EEG devices. These devices rely on electrodes placed on the scalp to collect brain signals. While interpreting electrical signals from the scalp is more challenging than those inside the brain, China is making significant strides in using machine learning techniques to improve the analysis of these brain signals. In this pursuit of cognitive enhancement, China is not alone. Several companies in the United States are also developing wearable BCIs aimed at improving attention and focus. Yet China's explicit commitment to non-medical applications of BCIs sets it apart in the global race towards BCI dominance. China's pursuit of non-medical applications of BCIs signifies its commitment to exploring the furthest reaches of this technology. 
As China surges ahead in the field of BCIs, it is not alone in the race. The United States is also a formidable competitor with a host of startups aiming to commercialize brain-computer interface technology. Among them is Neuralink, spearheaded by tech mogul Elon Musk. Neuralink's vision involves creating implantable brain-machine interfaces that allow humans to seamlessly interact with technology. Despite the shared goal of advancing BCI technology, the strategies of the US and China diverge significantly. While China is focusing on non-invasive BCIs for cognitive enhancement of the general population, the US primarily explores the medical applications of invasive BCIs. This approach allows paralyzed individuals to regain control over their environment, offering them a chance at a more independent life. Yet, the idea of cognitive enhancement is not entirely absent from the American tech scene. Companies like Emotive out of San Francisco and Neurable in Boston are developing wearable BCIs with an aim to improve cognitive abilities, such as attention and focus. These devices, while non-invasive, still harness the power of brain signals to improve daily life. Even the U.S. Department of Defense has shown interest, funding research on wearable interfaces that could potentially enable military personnel to control cyber defense systems or drones. It's a global race, and each nation is adopting its unique approach to harness the potential of BCIs. The competition extends beyond the realm of medical applications, delving into the controversial territory of cognitive enhancement. As these technologies continue to evolve, the ethical, societal, and regulatory challenges they pose will likely intensify. With nations vying for dominance in this field, the future of brain-computer interface technology is set to be a thrilling journey.